In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use system.io to create a sales funnel completely for beginners. Now, this is great for affiliate marketing or selling your own products, and it is completely free. Now, at the end of the video, you'll know how to create a funnel, which you can fully edit, which collects email addresses into an email list. You'll also know how you can send out automated emails to that list. Now, we can do this all for free, and I'm going to cover everything in this video. So here we are on system.io, you can see we can create sales funnels, we can send email marketing emails, we can build websites and so on. Now it's better for me to just show you instead of tell you, so let's jump into it. So first you want to go to system.io, I'll leave a link in the description below. If you do sign up through my link, I will get a small kickback if you decide to upgrade to the premium plan. And But everything I'm going to show you in this video is going to be with the free plan. So I'm going to try and give you the best system.io tutorial there is here. So first, once you've created your account, obviously enter in your email address here, create your free account, very simple stuff. Then you're going to go ahead and sign in. Now, once you've signed in, you'll be on your system.io dashboard. And this dashboard is kind of what like where you would track your sales. Now, the first thing that you need to do is you need to decide, do you have a product to sell or are you going to sell somebody else's product, aka affiliate marketing? Now, most of you that are watching this are going to be either building an audience or selling somebody else's product. Now, if you've got your own product to sell, then the setup is a little bit more complicated. And but you want to go ahead and go ahead and go to your profile and go to settings. Once you're in settings, you then want to go ahead and go to payment gateways. And here you can connect Stripe, PayPal and all of these payment methods here. Now, these are going to be used to um, collect payments. Now, if you're not currently selling anything or you don't have a digital product to offer and you just want to essentially promote other affiliate products, then you don't need to do this. So if you're not setting up any payment methods, you want to go ahead and go to funnels and now we can create our very first funnel. So first go ahead and click on create and then you can create your very first funnel. So for this, I'm going to just call it YouTube tutorial. And here where it says funnel domain, I've connected a custom domain, uh, which you can do. And I've got videos showing you how to do that. By default, though, you just have your default system.io um, domain. And this will be your username.system.io. And you can change this if you want a better domain. Now you're going to have to choose your funnel goal. Now, we're probably not going to be selling anything straight away. So don't click on that. Just click on build an audience. That's where most of you are going to want to start as beginners and you can sell other people's products with this. You can also change your goals once you've created the funnel. So don't worry about this too much. I will click on build an audience and then currency. I'm going to change it to US dollars. So choose your currency and then click save. OK, so now we've created our funnel and it's going to be here. So now we can go ahead and click on it and it will take us inside the back end of our funnel. Now, by default, it's going to give us a squeeze page and a thank you page. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a funnel which captures people's emails. Then I'll show you how you can send out automated emails to that email list, because that's kind of like the most powerful thing and the most basic funnel at the core. So we're going to click on squeeze page and then here we can scroll down and we can choose any of these squeeze page templates. So if you go ahead and change to 30, it will show you 30 different pages that you can choose from. So go ahead and find one that you're happy with. Now, my advice with this, if you're trying to capture emails, I would choose one with the email capture already built in as a template. And um, but if you are set on another one, you can go ahead and add the email capture in later. And it is pretty easy. But I'm going to find one where it already captures emails. So it makes everything a lot easier for me to show you. Now, one thing to know about system.io, they have very like advanced website looking landing pages. They also have simple one page landing pages as well. So you really need to choose like kind of like, do you want a simple landing page? Do you want to build out a full website? What is it you want to want to run with here? So I'm going to go ahead and choose this landing page. Now you can click preview template and it will open up the landing page here. And you can see this is a landing page. But it does have a lot of stuff here, which we can delete if we want to. So because I'm happy with this style, we're going to choose this and I'll delete whatever I don't want. So we'll click here where it says select. OK, so now we need to give this page a name so we can just call it squeeze page or we can we can title it whatever we want. 
I should title it YouTube. Okay, so once you've entered in a name, you wanna then click save and that will obviously save these changes. And now what we can do is we can go to edit page and here's where we can start to edit and build out a funnel. So once you're in edit page, it will open up this edit window and everything on this page is going to be editable. So here when I highlight over different elements, you can see that it highlights them. And this means we can click on each individual element and edit it. So if I wanna go ahead and change some text here, I could highlight this text and I could write something. So let's say I'm selling, or I'm promoting an offer. Let's say I'm promoting a, an affiliate offer. So let's say I'm promoting an affiliate offer here and I'm collecting emails of people who want to lose weight through a smoothie diet. So once I've typed in my text here, you can edit the text here with, with these text tools here. You can also look on the left here and here you'll see all of the different options you've got to edit your typography and text. Now, this, is, this box is going to appear no matter what element you click on. So if you click on this element here, you can change stuff on this element. If you click on the text, you can change the text. And a lot of these elements here have slider tools where you can go ahead and change how you want, exactly how you want your text to look. So you can increase the font size or decrease it, the line height. You've got here the font type. You can change the letter spacing. You've got the margin here and you wanna go ahead and play around with all of these because every single one of these, these kind of like changes is gonna do different things on the page and you can move stuff up and down. And what it really means is you can get your landing page looking exactly how you want it to. And then you've got the padding here. So have a look at the different padding. You've got the alignment. And here it says item visible on desktop and mobile. By default, a lot of these are gonna be checked. But if you want to show this on just desktop, you can uncheck mobile, and then that will no longer show on mobile. And to preview that, you will click on mobile, and you can see the, the main title has gone. If we check it, it comes back. And it's a good idea to configure your website on desktop and mobile, because some people will obviously come from desktop, some people will come from mobile. Okay, so we're customizing our landing page here. We can customize this text as well, edit this text and do the same thing. Let's say we don't want this logo here. So we can just remove this, we can hover over it, we can remove it. Let's say in fact, we don't want this row at all. So I'm gonna highlight or hover over the row and, and then I'm going to find the blue trash can icon for this row. So let me just delete this and delete this whole row. And there you go. Now we've deleted that row. Now you might be thinking, well, now the text is too high. Well, if you click on the section and you go here again to this left-hand corner, you can then edit how it, exactly how this looks. And obviously we'll customize this however you want. Okay, so now we've got this section here, which allows people to sign up and enter in their email. Enter your email to learn how. So in this case, we're building a landing page for this movie diet. Remember, maybe you wanna say, enter your email to learn how to lose weight. And maybe we wanna give them something for free. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on text. I'm going to go ahead and edit this margin so we can bring this up a little bit so we can line it with our text here. So that looks a lot better. Again, there is a lot of customization you can be doing here. I'm not gonna bore you too much with these details. I am, however, gonna center this text so we'll center this. So now you've got your landing page coming together. Now we also have a first name and email form input and this get started button. Now again, if we don't want to customize any of this down here, you can just go ahead and delete it. Obviously you would wanna build out the website however you would like, but for this tutorial, we'll just go ahead and delete all of this and we'll just keep the footer here. So we'll just have this very simple landing page and I'll just get rid of the the margin or the padding will just take some of this padding off the bottom. So now we've got a very simple landing page which allows people to enter in their first name and email and get started. Now, if we wanted to add anything to this, like we could add images by dragging on video and we can embed a YouTube video here. So if you click on video again, you can edit this element on the left here. So you can direct link to a YouTube video. You can upload a custom video. And there's a lot of things that you can customize in system.io. I mean, you can add more columns, you can add form inputs. But for beginners, I would just start by choosing a template with the email capture already in place here. 
Now, if you wanted to go ahead, and I'll just show you one more thing. If you wanted to go ahead and capture, let's say, their phone number, you will go to form import, click on that, and then you would change the input type to phone number. And now you would be capturing their phone number as well as their first name and email. But obviously, in my case, I'm not going to ask for their phone number, so I would delete that. But you can capture as much information as you would like uh, and build out your email list with a bunch of information if you want people to enter in that, that information. As a beginner, though, I just get them to enter in their first name and email. Okay, so now we need to click on the Get Started button. And you can see now, action when clicked, we're going to make sure this is on send form. And we're going to go to the next step. So this is going to now go to the next step of the funnel. So I'm going to save these changes. And we can preview our funnel at any step by clicking on this I button. And now we can have a look at what our funnel looks like. The best smoothie diet for weight loss. Enter your email to learn how. I'm going to just remove this big spacing here. Then save these changes and preview this again. So there we go. Here is our very simple landing page, uh, which we can now go to the next step. So now if we go ahead and exit out of this, we can now configure the next step. And the next step is going to be the thank you page. So here you've got a thank you slash download page. And here you can say thanks for entering in your email. Here's a bonus. Or you can obviously give your people whatever you're trying to give them for free. Or you can just say thanks for signing up. Again, choose a template and you can edit this however you'd like. So let's just select this one for the video. Customize this again. You can then go to edit page. And obviously here you can customize all of this if you wanted to add a video and just say thank you. Here is your like bonus information. You could do that. So go ahead and build out your page exactly how you'd want to. I'm not going to do this because I'm not going to drag the video on too long. But we'll just save these changes and we'll now run to the next step of the tutorial, which is going to be setting up your email list and the automation. So we've now got people here coming to our landing page. They can then enter in their first name and email and then get started. So let's type in a fake email here. We can now click get started. Or oh, let's type in a real email then. They can now enter in that information. They can click get started. It will then redirect them to the thank you page. So now what we need to do, we need to set up our email automation. Now some people might be okay with just stopping here, um, but you're really missing out on building an email list and making use of that email list if you just stop there. And now I'd really recommend you just set up your email list because it, it literally takes five minutes extra. So now if you go ahead and go to emails and campaigns, you can now set up an email campaign and start to write to the emails that you've captured because that's obviously the point, right? You want to capture these people's emails and then be able to sell them stuff. So now you can go to create a campaign. You can create this campaign. So I'll just call it again, YouTube and we'll click save. Now inside this campaign, you can then click on it. And you can then create emails. So if you go to create, you can then write out emails. Now I'll write in the classic editor. So we are creating our first email. So maybe we would put here, here is your free bonus. Or I could write the number one trick to losing weight. Or, you know, you would write anything that's relevant to your product or to a product you're promoting. And it obviously depends on your niche, right? So click save here. It will, that, it will now take you into the email tool and here you can write some emails so you could say hi. So if you go to substitute variables, you can you can choose here first name. So you've already got their first name. So if they enter their name as John in the field, when you send out emails, it's going to address them as John. So hi, John or hi, first name. You don't want to miss this. This is hands down the best way to lose weight. And then obviously write out your email and you can then highlight things. You can then link to different products. So say you have an affiliate product, you can then link to that. So I'll just link to Google, but you would obviously have a, an affiliate product in mind or somewhere you want to send your people. Okay, so once you're happy with your email, you wanna to go to save and publish. And it, it you can then choose when you wanna send your email after. Delay before sending emails. So maybe we want to send this straight away, or maybe we want to wait one day or one hour before we send this email. So after they sign up into our funnel, one day later, they're then going to be sent this email. We can then activate that. And now we've got this email set up. 
Now, the only thing we need to do now is we need to create a bunch of different emails so we can create an email sequence. So maybe you want to send out one email per day for 10 days. And now we need to set this up with our funnel. So if we go to funnels, or if we go to automation, sorry, we go to rules, we can go ahead and create a new automation. So go to create, and here it says trigger, and you wanna click on that, and you wanna say here, funnel step form subscribed. So when someone subscribes to your funnel, now my funnel is YouTube tutorial, and we wanna select here the YouTube page, so when someone subscribes on the main YouTube page, we wanna to go to action and we wanna subscribe them to a campaign. We wanna subscribe them to the email campaign we just made called YouTube. We can now go ahead and save that rule. So now go back to funnels. And then when we're on that funnels, you wanna go ahead and click on YouTube tutorial. Make sure you're on the YouTube page, go to automation rules. And here you can say, here you can see funnel step from subscribed. If you click on this, you can see when someone subscribes, it's going to add them to the YouTube campaign. I hope that made sense, but basically we're just setting up an automation rule. So when someone goes ahead and subscribes, AKA enters in their email to this form, it's going to add them to the email campaign YouTube, which we've just created. So if you go to emails, you go to campaigns, you can see YouTube is the email campaign I just created. And once they've been added to that campaign, they will then be sent out these emails. You can see this is a there's a delay on this email by one day, and they'll then go through this email funnel. Now you want to just go ahead and double check that everything's working. So go to your funnel, go to view funnel. Here's your funnel. Just enter in your name and email here, and make sure that you you're actually capturing those emails and they're going into your email um, campaign. I'll just enter Bradley at gmail.com or Bradley one. I'll enter bradley123 at gmail.com. We'll click get started. And we'll see if that has been added. So now we'll go to our system.io dashboard. We'll go to contacts and contacts again. We'll go to email campaigns. And here you can see email count is one. That means one, pe one person's subscribed, which is obviously me. And the emails haven't been sent out yet because there's a one day delay. But if your email count goes up, it means that you're collecting emails successfully and they're going into your campaign and they will be sent out emails depending on what delay you've put. So I hope that video did help you out. That was a brief overview of how you can use system.io. So go ahead and use this to build out your funnels and promote affiliate products. You can get complicated with this, but just follow this tutorial and get these basics set up and you should be good. If you've got any questions about system.io, put them in the comments and I'll try and get in the comments and help you out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.